today we will be walking in the streets of Makkah and we are walking after 6.30 because during the day it's extremely hot don't dare to go out in Makkah or in Saudi Arabia basically I mean in Makkah and Medina uh, during the day uh, it's very very hot and try to keep a water bottle or something to drink so that you don't feel thirsty I grabbed the orange juice and now let's begin the journey Gaza Gaza Let's go. Now we are going to Gaza, which is nearby uh, the Kaaba, and we'll be seeing some shops there. So these are the shops nearby Masjid Al Haram. Here you can see some snacks shop and people are coming from all over the world here. You can see shops on both the side of the road. That side also you have a lot of shops. This side also a lot of shops. And these are the taxis. In one shop they sell a lot of things, basically prayer mat and tasbih so that while going people can take them as souvenirs. And there are a lot of uh, Arab spices also. These are all the different types of tasbis here. You can see all the colorful ones. All are shining, this tasbi. So this is a gold shop. So this is also famous for its gold. Also have this, they also have this sort of shops by the road. And these are the bottles for Zamzam water. Uh, they have here they have shops dedicated only for dates different sorts of dates uh, you don't usually see it uh, on other parts of the world and we'll go to one such date shop shop we are going now and it's dedicated for dates uh, you have a lot of different sorts of dates here uh, these are some different sorts of dates you can see. and here are also chocolates and a lot of things. Uh, basically, most of them are dates. Dates in Medina are better than the dates in Makkah. I mean, they are cheaper in price and you have more varieties of dates there. These are all packet 
dates with uh, nuts and chocolates inside and it's really awesome during Ramadan and during Hajj these streets are full with Hajis uh, from all over the world these are the mountains of Mecca Now we'll be going to Masjid Al-Haram You can see the minarets of Masjid Al-Haram We have around half an hour from Maghrib This is the clock tower Now we are going to Zamzam Tower and to go there we need to go through the Masjid Al Haram. We already came very near to the gate of Masjid Al-Haram. Uh, we'll be entering Masjid Al Haram through gate number 166. <laughs> We are already in Masjid Al Haram now. During Ramadan, these areas were full by Hajis. A lot of people from all over the world, they came here to do Ibadah, to worship Allah, because Ramadan is special for Muslims. And during this Ramadan, people from all over the world came here to worship Allah. And it was an amazing experience. I mean, People prayed Tarawi, people prayed Qiyamul Layl, people were in Itikaf, and it was an amazing, amazing uh, experience here. All these gates were open during Ramadan, now it's closed. And it is one of the main gates uh, from Jarwal. And you can go to Kaaba through this way. And you can see the Kaaba from here also, a little bit. That is Kaaba from here. All the way to the end is Kaaba. These are the places to drink Zamzam water. 
just take a cup from here and get the water. Don't forget to drink few cups of Zamzam water when you visit Masjid Al Haram. These are the places where they keep the Quran. You can see how they kept the Quran in a very organized way. It's looking amazing. Now we are going out from Masjid Al Haram to gate number 119. And here is the Zamzam Tower, you can see, it's very nearby to Masjid Al-Haram and a lot of hotels are here. These are the toilets and evolution, place for evolution. Here, here you see pretty a lot of people. Uh, they came for doing Umrah, doing Tu'ah, visiting the Baytullah and it's really so peaceful here in Masjid Al-Haram you always find peace people are waiting for praying Salat Al-Maghrib 